Blackboard Collaborate Web Conferencing is a brand new product in the growing field of web conferencing technology. When you are planning to coordinate the use of this product in your class, it is important to make yourself aware of the product's capacities. In this screencast, we will cover the archival, interactive, and in-session tools to keep in mind when using this product to pursue your teaching and learning goals. Now let's take a look at the interactive functions of Blackboard Collaborate Web Conferencing. In the participants panel, participants can express emotions, they can raise their hand, or respond to polls. The moderator can change the polling type, or yes, no, or multiple choice options. And once students have entered their answers, the moderator can publish the responses into the whiteboard. Participants can use the notes window to enter notes that will be time stamped to that exact time in the session recording. All you have to do is open the notes window when you watch the session recording to see the notes you made at the times you made them. You can set the timer and make it visible to moderators or all attendees to keep your session organized and on time. You can use the chat tool to instant message either publicly or privately with other session attendees. You can split your web conferencing session up into different smaller rooms so that students can collaborate with each other in smaller groups with the same diversity of tools at their disposal. And participants with iPhone or iPad can participate using their mobile device. Android compatibility is expected soon. Now let's take a look at some of the features and tools that are especially useful inside the session. You can conduct a web tour with your students. This will allow you to tour your students through the internet and is the easiest way to play a YouTube video. The ocean waves and the march of the stars across the heavens in addition to being able to tour your participants through the web, you can tour participants through your desktop or an individual application, a spreadsheet for example, with application sharing. And if you will be presenting in your session, you may want to consider using Blackboard Collaborate Plan. You can upload all your presentation content and processes in advance with Blackboard Collaborate Plan. This application has a diversity of options that will allow you to focus your in-session efforts on delivery and interaction as you simply click step-by-step -step through your content. Now let's discuss the archival tools that will be important for you when using Blackboard Collaborate. Since you have the ability to record your session, this can be a great way for participants to review the session if it's a lecture, office hours, or however you use the application. Now, after you've recorded your session within Blackboard Collaborate, using Blackboard Collaborate Publish, you can convert your session recording into several standard file types easily uploaded to YouTube or elsewhere on the internet. This is also a great way to create audio podcasts. And additionally, if you hesitate to post your session recordings openly online due to privacy concerns around your participants' names, you can adjust your settings to hide the usernames of your attendees in the session recording.